Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwander and welcome to Selling Power TV. Today we have the pleasure of meeting Lavon Kerner, who's co-founder of Revenue Store. And welcome, Lavon. Well, thank you very much. I look forward to our discussion today. This is a subject I have a lot of passion around. Yeah, you're very passionate about sales training, but at one point you got disenchanted. Tell I us did about it. very much. I did a study and I was president of a sales training company at the time and I wanted to know what kind of impact I was having. And doggone it, <laughs> I wasn't having much impact. Even though we were training global companies, you could not see the measurement move that much after the training. So I realized that sales training in and of and by itself was uh, ineffective. So is that a, the methodology was wrong or the, the way it was delivered was wrong? Or maybe you didn't train the right people? <laughs> Uh, well, all of the above, you check every one of those boxes. The only profession that wastes more money than sales training is uh, CRMs. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> but I think this has to be a close second. But they, you know, companies sheep dip people, uh, you know, or a royal baptism around the world run everybody through a cookie cutter program. Right. So there are several reasons why. You name three of them, there are actually two or three more of them. And they all are causing uh, horrible ineffectiveness in sales training. So, Levon, you diagnosed the problem. What is the solution? We now know from a psychometric testing that uh, an actual statistic is 37% of all people cannot be elevated to what we would call a level three or more of a business consulting where we believe sales is going in the future. And so we know that well over a third or just under half of the people cannot make that trip because they have the wrong DNA. Doesn't make them bad people, it just means that they're not wired for that type of selling. The second thing is, to, we only use training to remove a knowledge deficit. We use coaching to remove a performance deficit. You've got to do them both. In fact, you have to coach within around two weeks after a individual has been trained on a new concept, and then you personally take them by the hand and lead them through to apply right. everything on a live account. What about skills training? What does that fall under? Most training today is very, you know, very traditional, very antiquated, and it has to move from the old demand capture approach, you know, sir, what keeps you up at night? That whole approach. Or, you want to move to demand creation. Yeah, you have to right. move to demand creation. Right. You have to do that. So how, do, as an outsider uh, of the sales training industry, how do you find out whether a company is offering um, outdated training? Do number one, a talent inventory to see what kind of hiring profile it's been in existence for the last number of years. And then the second thing, you do a needs analysis to understand the market in which they're serving and take a look at International Monetary Fund, like for instance right now and this year, it's, uh, it did, they just downgraded it from 4.6 to 3.9. And my guess is that most of your, the customers that come to Selling Power have growth targets greater than the 3.9. So if the markets aren't growing at 3.9 and they want to grow at 10%, then you got to make up the difference and that means switch from demand capture to demand creation. So what is your recommendation for sales leaders? How to shop for the right sales training? One, do you have the right people? Can it be upgraded? So before you even do that, you better answer that question because you're going to invest a lot of money on people that will not make the journey. So that's number one. Number two, you have to set your go-to-market strategy. How do we want to plan this marketplace? What will give us the ultimate competitive advantage over our competitors? Mm -hmm. And then allow a company to say, okay, let's do a needs analysis using our psychometric testing. We know exactly what competency deficits need to be fixed. If you don't do that, you, you will over-invest in the wrong competencies underinvest in the right compensation right. and you miss certain compensations altogether. Those are the three sins right. that sales trainers uh, always always make. So what you're saying is you uh, keep a laser focus on people's capability, identify the gaps, and yep. then train, and then two weeks later, you coach. Always coach. Now, there's one other thing that probably needs to be said, and that is on the front end, set a dashboard. What is it you're trying to do? And you want to measure. That's your dashboard. It's lagging indicators then a good sales training company will take that dashboard of lagging indicators and translate it into leading indicators and then they will monitor that every step of the way and know how you're doing. 
You've got an excellent roadmap. For anybody who would like to get more information, go to revenuestorm.com. Thank you, Levon. You're more than welcome. Thank you for the questions.